Welcome back to Passionate About Tech. Imagine running the latest Android 16 right on your Windows computer with full Google Play Store access. In this video, I will show you how to unlock Android 16 on your Windows 10 or 11 PC using official tools from Google. Best of all, it is completely free and safe. Let's get started. First, we need to check if virtualization is turned on. This is a special setting that lets your PC run another operating system inside of Windows. To check this, right-click your taskbar and open Task Manager. Click on the Performance tab at the top, then make sure CPU is selected. Look toward the bottom right for the word Virtualization. If it says Enabled, you are ready for the next step. If it says Disabled, do not worry. You just need to turn it on in your BIOS menu. If you have a different brand, like HP or ASUS, just search Google for your model name followed by the words Enable Virtualization to find your specific key. Since I am using a Dell, I will show you that process. Restart your computer and start tapping the F2 key immediately. Once you are in the BIOS, look for a tab called Virtualization Support. Click on Virtualization and make sure Enable Intel Virtualization Technology is selected. If you have an AMD processor, look for SVM mode. Save your settings and exit to restart Windows. Now that the hardware is ready, we need to tell Windows to allow virtual machines. In your Windows search bar, type Turn Windows Features On or Off and hit Enter. A small list will pop up. Scroll down until you find Virtual Machine Platform. Check the box next to it and click OK. Windows will take a moment to apply these changes and will ask you to restart. Go ahead and restart your PC now to make sure everything is locked in. With your PC restarted, it is time to download the official software. Open your web browser and search for Android Studio. Click on the first official link from Google. Look for the big download button. When you click it, a license dialog will appear. You must scroll all the way to the bottom of the text to unlock the checkbox. Check the box that says, I have read and agree with the terms, and then the download button will become active. The file is about 1.4 gigabytes, so it might take a few minutes depending on your internet speed. Once the download finishes, open the installer. Just follow the prompts by clicking Next until it finishes. Now, launch Android Studio for the first time. A message might pop up asking if you want to share usage data. Click Don't Send to keep things private. On the welcome screen, click Next. Select the standard installation type as this is the easiest way to get all the tools we need. Click Next again, Next to verify your settings. Accept the license agreement and click Next again to start downloading all the necessary components. Once components are ready, hit Finish. Now that the components are ready, click on More Actions on the welcome screen and select SDK Manager. In the list of SDK platforms, look for Android 16, which is also called API Level 36. You might notice that version 36.0 is checked by default. It is not a bad idea to use that version, but for this guide, I recommend choosing 36.1 as well to ensure we have the most up-to-date revision. Check the box next to version 36.1 and click Apply. A confirmation window will pop up showing the components to be installed. Click OK. Android Studio will then open the SDK component installer to download the actual Android 16 system files. Once the status says Done, click Finish, and then click OK to close the settings. Now, click More Actions again, and this time select Virtual Device Manager. Click the plus button in the top left to create a new device. You will see a list of phones and tablets. I recommend choosing the Pixel tablet because it gives you a nice, large interface for your apps. Click Next. Now, select the Android 16 image we just downloaded. Make sure it says Google Play in the Services column so you can download apps later. Also, make sure you select the Google Play Intel Atom system image. Before we finish, let's optimize the settings so it runs fast. Click on Additional Settings. Looking at my system specs, I have an Intel i9-9900 with 32 gigabytes of RAM. This is plenty of power. For the CPU cores, I will assign eight cores to make it lightning fast. 
For the RAM, I will give it 16 gigabytes. If your PC has less RAM, like eight gigabytes total, you should set this to two or four gigabytes instead. Wait, oops, I almost skipped over the storage. Let's scroll back up to internal storage real quick. I'm going to set this to 30 gigabytes so I can install those heavy games later. Okay, now back down. Finally, set the VM heap size to 512 megabytes. Click Finish. Your virtual Android 16 device is now ready to go. Click the small play button next to your device name. A new window will pop up and you will see the Google logo as it boots up for the first time. Once the home screen appears, you can swipe down to see the new Baklava quick settings. Open the Play Store, sign in with your Google account, and you are ready to install your favorite apps or games right on your PC. You have successfully unlocked Android 16 on your Windows machine. Explore the new interface, try out the updated Google apps, and let me know in the comments how the performance feels on your computer. Stay passionate about tech, and I will see you in the next video.